you can grab by a flathead, get up under the silver tab, give it a little tap, pull that door off, set that to the side. Grab your quarter inch nut driver, take them two screws out, get ready to take the lid off. Use your Phillip head screwdriver here, we're removing the door latch. After you get those two screws out, you can just push that, push it down or the drop down. It'd be good. Then use your flathead screwdriver. It's a little tab on the door magnet. Just press that in. Kind of push it up through the hole. After you pull it up, give it a little twist, push it back down the hole. Pull those wires and push them to the side. Okay. Lift that whole top up, just get it out the way. Use your needle nose, press down on that clamp. You're going to remove the hose. This hose go to your fill switch. Squeeze those little white tabs in, you can pull them out. They just support like uh, your electrical wires is gonna be disconnected from underneath to the bottom. So right here we're disconnecting the water pump hose. There's a zip tie on it, snap that off. It's gonna be a silver round clamp. You're gonna squeeze that and pull it off the hose, get your shop back ready. It's gonna be a little bit of water that's gonna shoot out of that hose once you disconnect it. You cut it on. all cleaned up you're going to disconnect your wires underneath it's going to be two harness wires one ground wire i think that's a quarter inch screw and two low voltage wires going on to a little transformer Man, come on. sometimes you got to play with that thing to get it out it's a real tight um spot i'm gonna speed this up so y'all don't have to watch me fight with it now pay attention to those little white cans to the left of my hands right there um those are spring-loaded arms that support the bracket you pull those down and pop them out we're going to show you that in a little bit um but when i do it in the video it's actually real hard to see it's four of those it's one on each side um each corner perfect perfect so now right. once we got that disconnected there's going to be four bungee cords <laughs> right there <laughs> we cut that you can disconnect the screws tie them up or even cut them my buddy says he cuts them i disconnect them and tie them out the way tilt that drum forward <clears throat> You're gonna pop off those uh, support arms I was just talking about. They're spring loaded. They're kind of tough. Push them down, pull them out. You can tilt your drum forward, pull the whole drum out, motor in first. And then you're gonna go back in with the new motor the same exact way. Um, open in first, then pop your <laughs> motor in then. Open in first, then motor in. And you can see how I tied the bungees off right there. So those are the arms I was just talking about. Um, you pull those down, they're spring loaded, and you snap them right back in that slot right there. Exactly Apologize for not getting a good uh, piece of footage of doing it. So after you snap those into place, do all four. Your basket should be sitting pretty even. And right here we're looking for a 38 socket. I put it on the extension on my ratchet to get that agitator off. The agitator is that piece in the middle. You pull the part off where your detergent no, goes it and off. it exposes screw down That's in there. Cool. Yeah. So. Tequila? Tequila. Yeah. Huh? No tequila? Yeah. Oh man, I thought you had tequila. <laughs> Messing with one of the cleanest. So hold your agitator upside down. Well, this is how I do it. I hold it upside down once and then aim my socket set to put my screw in a hole. Because it can be a pain trying to put it in there, right side up, yeah. inside the washer drum. So that's how I do it. Do I have it easy for you? 
sit that back in there, um, tighten it up, don't over tighten it, um, I don't know, one or two turns past snug. Now we're going to put everything back the same way that we took it off, like I said in all of my work videos, um, unless you modify something, put it back on the same way you took it off. So we're going to speed this video up so you don't have to watch me work. This process is very doable with um, any type of mechanically inclined skills. If not, learn them, get them, practice them. You end up saving yourself and making you some money down the road. So. Like once again, those are the two, uh, those are one of the arm support brackets. And there's another one on your right hand side. Make sure those are snapped in. And your drum will actually sit straight. If it doesn't sit straight, something's not right. This time I use my ratchet for that ground screw. That ground screw can be pretty tough at times. Then don't forget to go back and get your holes off your old drum. If you do not hook this up, I promise you, you will make a mess when you fill the washing machine up. So pop that back on the bottom of your new drum. I think that is a 5 16th. Yeah, it's 5 six, Use a 5 16th nut driver. Push that hose all the way up to the top of the stopper. Lock it down. Make sure she's nice and tight. Then you're going to take the other end of your hose and connect it onto your pump. That's the pump that pumps out the water. Sometimes those things can get jammed up. I might have to do another video on how to open those up and um, get stuff out of there if your washing machine doesn't drain. But uh, use your channel locks. Open that lock ring, slide the holes on it, make sure that's nice and tight too. If that's not, if any of that, any pieces of that hose is not tight, if any pieces of the hose are not secure properly, you will have water on your floor, downstairs, wherever your washing machine is at. And if you're not there to watch it, you'll come home to a mess. Yep. All right, so now we want to go back. We're still putting stuff back together. Put the top on. Back and in first. Set it down. It's going to be two slots on either side. Um, you might have to play with it a little bit, but once you get it where you want it, give it a little hit. Press it down. Boom. I start filling it up just to make sure we're not leaking because if it does leak, I want it to leak while my um, washer is still open. So go ahead and push your magnet back up through the slot, twist it, it snaps right back down in there. Go down there, check for leaks. Make sure it's not leaking, everything looks good to me. You can actually see the water level is already filled up, maybe about six, seven inches. Looks good to me. Bam! Pop your door back on and you're done. And if you ever happen to find extra screws laying around, go ahead and just throw those behind the no. <laughs> Um, I found screws. two screws. <laughs> I found two screws in the ground, so I opened the door up, and these were just for the lid latch, or for the lid uh, bracket. You can hear your drum spinning smoothly. New motor, new drum, no leaks. In this case, our drum was leaking. Um, your motor could be bad. Sometimes it's just easier to just buy a whole new drum and just replace it. It's just a new life for your water. Done deal. Now it's time.